Hey guys, I'm Meg at the Brawl Street location at Strange's. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about some common pests for your houseplants and how to treat them. A really common pest in houseplants is mealybugs. These are really common in your pothos and your philodendron plants. The way you can inspect them is to lift the leaves up, check at the base of the soil as well as the base of your leaves like little tiny white fluffs. The way you can treat mealybugs is using a triple action plus spray. You're just going to want to spray this at the base of your leaves, around your soil, and make sure that you're hitting the mealybugs. You can also take a Q-tip with alcohol and rub the mealybugs off of your leaves. If you're looking for an organic solution, you can definitely use neem oil as well. Another common pest are spider mites. Spider mites are going to thrive in very dry, hot temperatures, especially if your soil stays very dry as well. Some common plants that get spider mites are going to be your alocasias. Alocasias, you can usually find them on the reverse side of the leaf. They're very, very small and hard to see. Sometimes you can tap the leaf onto a piece of paper and if you see them crawling around on the paper, then you know you have spider mites. The other symptom that you will see is that they will create small little webs all around your leaves as well. The ways that you can treat spider mites is using any type of aricide. You can also use an insecticidal soap and spray these directly on your leaves. Also, the Triple Action Plus will work for spider mites as well. Fungus gnats are another common pest. Right now, during the summer, it seems to be a very, very common issue this year. It's gonna be the most common in plants that like to keep their soil moist, like ferns. There's a few different ways to fight fungus gnats. Here at Strangers, we sell two different kinds of sticky traps. The first one you can stick directly onto a stick and into your plant soil. It'll trap any of the fungus gnats that are trying to get into your plant. Another way that you can trap them is with fly strips. These hang from your ceiling and they can make sure that they catch the adult flies. Another thing that you can use is mosquito bits. These you're going to mix into your soil and as you water, they will go into your soil and make sure to take care of the fungus gnat larva so that they don't hatch and turn into adult fungus gnats. Another disease that we've gotten a lot of questions about is surface mold. Surface mold looks like a gray film on the top of your soil. These are botrytis spores and they're very common in areas with high moisture. A way that you can treat surface mold is by using a fungicide. Sulfur fungicide is going to be the best one that you can use for that surface mold. Another way that you can do it is using a copper fungicide spray. This is going to be very useful on plants like Hoyas where the surface mold can affect their leaves. You're going to want to make sure that you spray their leaves with a copper fungicide as well. All of these products can be found at both of our locations and if you guys have any questions at all, don't hesitate to ask.